strategy is to really be the person that just goes out, talks to everybody, be very friendly. Because I got out early last time for not doing that. Oh, strategy, that's an easy one. Um, go with the flow and just see what the game has to offer. Every game's different. And I'm a little nervous, so I'm just gonna go with it. I don't know, anything that's not uh, fruitful for winning a game, I'd say could be considered a Christian move. Go in, read the people, pray, and pray some more, and that's it. I mean, I'd have to say that I feel like I can be pretty sly. As long as I'm not sabotaged, like my last game, I swear, I think this is gonna be good. <laughs> hey, so what's your strategy? I'm gonna eat bread and get all fat and sassy. <laughs> don't be too conspicuous. I don't like laying low because I feel like that's boring. But at the same time, I tend to be more targeted than I should be just because I try to do stuff that's more big moves, <clears throat> that are, that's more fun to do. Honestly, not going in with too much of a strategy, just maybe trying to be a little bit more careful with what I say to who this time, because that kind of messed me up last time. I think the game that I played last time, uh, just being loyal and getting as far as I did, keeping all the promises that I made, um, probably got me here. Didn't really feel like I made a whole bunch of like super rad, bold moves, but that's the game plan for today. My strategy basically is to work with the people I know, try to make them feel like they can work with me, um, to further myself in the game, to drink uh, water, stay hydrated. Well, my strategy um, is to not be shy. I'm not really a shy person. I take that in everything that I do in life, but I definitely need to be a little bit more concerned about the way I play this game. Um, last game, I was playing really well, I think, and then I just kind of started taking a few too many steps outside of my boundaries, and I think that that's what kind of like got me you know, super early in the game. So I'm definitely gonna like play and let myself be known because if this is an all-star game, you know, they gotta think, oh, I'm gonna be doing the same thing. But I'm just not gonna be as much of a headhunter. I'm just gonna be more of a, you know, very faithful support. Um, I'm gonna smooth talk like my mama self usually does, but I'm not gonna mean any of it. What's your strategy for today? Trying to figure out who the idiots are and not trust them a lick. My strategy is to try to make some good alliances that will hopefully take me pretty far in the game. Um, hopefully align with some people that can balance out my weaknesses, such as males who can compete physically like I cannot. Um, so hopefully I can make some good alliances that will kind of carry me through. So as all of you know, this is an all-star season. All of you have walked through these doors before, and most of you have walked out of these doors. <laughs> <laughs> as a result, our official title for the season is Luke's Super Brother 18 Unfinished Business. Wow. All of you have been selected as players who I thought had more story to tell. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jessica. Um, I go to UL, I'm a theater major, and I'm ready to come back and do much better than I did last time. <laughs> season six is my last season. <laughs> Hi, I'm Laura. Um, I am a daycare teacher, and uh, I'm from BB17, and uh, I'm ready to play, ready to compete. <laughs> hey, I'm Josh, I'm from BB17. You probably remember that shit. Um, I'm a music teacher and a bartender. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Language? No, no, it's okay. Uh, I forgot. I didn't know if that was a rule or not. Uh, so anyway, I'm a music teacher, I'm a bartender. Uh, and yeah, like you said, unfinished business. Ooh. Hi, um, I'm Mac. I was on BB 17? 16th. You've told me that in five seconds. 16. Um, I am a junior at LSU, majoring in kinesiology and music. Hi, um, Brody. Um, I do mechanical engineering, I graduated college, I'm old, and my last season was Big Brother 9. <clears throat> wow, okay. <laughs> my name is Grace, um, I'm from BB15, I think, yes? Yes. Um, looks like the sparsest of the, of the seasons so far, but um, <laughs> yes, I am a sophomore at UL, and um, yeah, I'm a public relations major, I forgot to say that, but yeah. <laughs>
James, Big Brother 17. Fun fact, I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> Uh, I'm from Lafayette, and uh, my last season was Big Brother 14. And fun fact, I didn't know Adina Menzel did anything except for the Frozen song. <laughs> All right, based on what? that, can we guess three other facts about Christian? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Ryan. I was on Big Brother 16, and I did not. A fun fact is that I did not know I was playing today. Uh, until like about 15 minutes ago. And my, I, my favorite animal has been penguins for a long time, and but I think it's starting to be frogs now. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I love the self-realization. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Logan. My last one was 14, I think. And I'm just happy to be here, y'all. You stole James? Yes. Yeah, you did steal James. I'm not happy to be here then. <laughs> Um, hey, I'm Michael from Bad Rouge. Also, I've graduated college, so I do a lot of things, but I work at a Catholic church. And my fun fact, oh, my last season was B uh, Big Brother 16. And my fun fact is I've never had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Wow. That's not fun. Yes, yeah. if you're allergic to peanuts. Uh, I'm not allergic to peanuts, but. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, my name is Dylan, um, I played on 15, yeah, um, my fun, I'm from Baton Rouge, I uh, am a superintendent of a construction company, um, and my fun fact is that I am not fat, I just ate my twin in the womb, and so he's just kind of living in there somewhere, so. Is that true? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dee Dee Luke. Uh, BB17 was my last uh, season. Most of you know me, so you know any cool, fun facts about me. But um, I am currently applying to go back to school. <gasps> I'm Mitchell. I played in 16. My fun fact is usually that I have two kids, but Holly told me that's boring last time. So I guess. Well, uh, gift of life. How boring. <laughs> Because I, I've said it multiple times, but uh, this this year I went to the Korean DMZ and the Great Wall of China. Oh! As you know, it's <coughs> twice themed. So first, I will introduce our constellation twins. As you can see on the wall right there, we have a really simplified drawing of the Big Dipper. Um, <laughs> So we have four different kinds of stars. We have a yellow star, a green star, a blue star, and a purple star. You will notice that all of them, except for the yellow one, are in pairs. Posted around the house, we have directions on how you can get access to some of the stars. The first one looks like that, on the mantle. That one describes how to get the yellow star. The other directions are... <laughs> <laughs> The other directions are hidden throughout the house. If you find a posted rule, um, please do not take it down. Okay, it's for everyone to see. So that one is for the yellow one, which is for an individual player. All the other rules are for pairs of players. If you and another player fit the description of the rules, you can come up to me, request one of the stars, and if I grant you access, you can both take a star off the wall. The stars uh, that are matching colors are also matching powers. Both of the people who have the star have the power, but only one of them gets to play it. Whoever plays it first. Okay, so that should be cute. Have fun with that. <laughs> um, so keep an eye out for those rules. Feel free to share where the rules are with your fellow house guests, and uh, let me know when you want a star. With that being said, let's get to the first HOH competition, house guests. <laughs> so for this first HOH competition, we will be having an election. So I will give you some time to campaign, campaign amongst each other, and then we will take turns voting for a house guest to become head of household. You are not allowed to vote for yourself. Whoever has the most votes wins a my, my, my like gut says James. Which one did you say? As HOH? As HOH. Do y'all want to know if it he's isn't the, one of us? Yeah. He's tall, he's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Does yeah, anyone yeah. want it? You always want somebody that doesn't want it. Correct. Like Christian. <laughs> My mind went there. I jokingly said that to Brody and he was like, 
It's like, ooh. I, I think that'd be a good idea. I think so too. Christian, I mean, he, I, we all chatted first, so he wouldn't probably target us. Yeah. He knows the game. Yeah. He knows the game. He does. Very well. I think it's helpful also to have someone who really understands the game at the and, beginning. I mean, if he wasn't lying about being very nervous, then like... No, he is nervous. He is yeah. very nervous. That is not a lie. I think it would help him just get it out. <laughs> <laughs> just throw him in the fire. <laughs> Gosh, you feel like someone who would want to be HOA. Yeah, yeah, anyone want, want this? Oh shit, what? Why? 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 No, I'm not saying you want it. I'm just asking yeah, if just anyone does want it. Honestly, I mean, I mean, like, I'll be honest, okay? If, okay, you know, how about this? I'll tell you this. Because usually the way this goes is you put up somebody, hopefully it'll be like super weak that just gets like swayed really easily. Mm -hmm. You want somebody who's comfortable making an alliance and will stick with that so they don't throw up some like big name really early. You put me up, I'm willing to take suggestions and throw up like two irrelevance that I don't think are going to go very far. But that's usually the safest bet. I just don't know Josh, so I don't know where I fall I in his either. totem pole. So he makes me a little nervous, not because I don't think that he would like make a good move, but his good move might be me, you know, because we don't no, know each no, other, I, I so. He was like, or we could put up one irrelevant, I kept using the word irrelevant, like, a lot. He was like, we could put up one irrelevant. You don't even know the twist from his season. <laughs> that makes you irrelevant. <laughs> but he's like, we could put up one irrelevant and one really big player who we want to stick around. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, wow, it's a terrible idea. But I, I like it just because, like, I have no, like, I don't know how he played the game. Mm -hmm. like, I don't know. He's very... Some of the girls threw your name out while we were outside after you left. Why? Because they thought it would like blow your name up and they thought it would be fine. Okay. So, okay. I'm just letting you know. Okay. That. Who said that? Um, Matt, Matt McKenzie. Like, it wasn't facetious. Like, it wasn't like, oh, we've got to be Christian. And then everyone agreed? Everyone was like, oh, yeah, that would be good. I don't remember who, but one of the girls said Christian. But not more of a... You know, put him up and see what he does. Like, let you show what you're gonna do, what kind of game you're gonna have. Kind of thing. Oh, they want to see like what kind of game I have. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I see that as like a good opportunity, like mm -hmm. to build trust mm -hmm. with yeah. people, because that's what I want to do. Like, yeah. I don't want to do anything rash or anything like yeah. that. Like, I want to actually. Well, it's kind of like game. put him up, but then what's he gonna do? But then you know what he's gonna play, how he's gonna play, that kind of thing. If y'all would like. I would love to build trust with y'all, mm -hmm. and if y'all would like me to be HOH, I can be HOH and like build trust, like show y'all that I'm being honest, mm -hmm. and show y'all that I'm being straightforward, and like do what you know mm -hmm. the house wants. Like I'll, I'll do, I'll do. Yeah. It, you know. I've only heard your name come up as like it's not as the first one. Mm -hmm. I just I've heard Josh and some of us were talking about James, and then when they come up with when if not those two, and that's where I heard your name. You know, so. Josh cannot be trusted in this game or any game. That dude is a sketchball and I will go to my grave saying he needs to leave because he cannot be trusted based on what he did in BB-17. Yeah, I don't want to go based on what's happened in past seasons because then you, you should be going home based on past seasons. <laughs> so do you want to go on that? <laughs> it's split right now. Do you, Josh? Christian wants it. No, I don't, I don't want to be Christian. I don't want to be Christian. I don't know. I don't know what game he's playing. He doesn't seem... He seems too eager for himself and not eager to think about I, like, I think the rest it, of the game. He, right he keeps saying it's to build trust with people and I don't want... He just to wants... Give this, advantage. This, isn't, this isn't really a build trust kind of competition. This is more just say, like, see how few enemies you can make on these tools. Do not go for Josh, man. Okay. Why? I don't trust him. I don't trust him. He lied the whole season. Yeah, are you joking me as a positive time major too? You yeah. filmed I either know, of I know, I know. Vote for me or Christian. Okay, so you're putting your name up there too? I don't mind. Okay, well then that's all that's all I want to know. I've got campaign two from Christian and Josh, right? Uh, so do like you Christian. trust either of them? I trust Christian way more than I trust Josh. Well, I, I, I was thinking about voting for Christian too, because he was like, he's gonna let the whole house decide who, who, who to nominate. That's horseshit. The only upside, the only Dude, upside. Dude, the whole house is you because you won. Yeah. Screw that shit. We no, 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 no. I'm just relaying what he said. Okay. All right. What's up? I talked to Ryan. Okay. And? And he said he thinks I'm cool. Okay. I think he's Great judge of character. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, we talked about wanting to talk to you more. Yes. But like to I be... wanted to know who you were talking to. I would To possibly love... form a semi- large 
alliance. Okay, large alliances really skeep me out. Not like, well, I said semi-large. Um, I really would love to work with... Mackenzie. No. Not Mackenzie? Ryan said maybe Mackenzie. She, like, tried to screw me over the, on our season, so... Bye, Mackenzie. Like, <laughs> um... And yeah, we were cool I for work a with you so bad. I know, I want to work Can with you. Can we work? You. Listen, listen, shut up I, and listen. I'm so excited. I work with you, Ryan, and James. I really do. Okay. Because I think we're all strong competitors, so we can like maybe keep the HOH okay. like with us, and then we could all be safe. Okay. I haven't really thought past that, mm -hmm. but I also really want to work with Dee Dee. I want to work I with love Dee Dee. Bad. Oh. Between James, Josh, and Christian, I guess. My gut says Josh. All right, thank you. Okay. I want Josh as our HOH. Who do you vote to elect? I'm gonna vote for Josh. Who do you vote for? Um, I'm gonna vote for James. Thank you. I vote for Christian. Uh, who do you vote to elect? Josh. Thank you. Who do you vote to elect? I am voting to elect James. Hello. Who do you vote for? I am voting for Christian. Oh, who do you vote uh, to become the head of uh, Christian? Hi. Who do you vote for? Christian. I'm going to vote for Christian to be HOH. Thank you. I vote to elect Christian. I vote to elect Christian. Who do you vote to elect? Uh, James. Alright. Alright, everyone. It is time to crown our first HOH. Woo! Woo! Uh, Looks like brother 18. There were three players who received votes. One player received three votes, one player received four votes, the other player received seven votes. With three votes and losing the competition is James, and it is between Josh and Christian for the head of household position. The winner of HOH is Christian. So, woo, get ready for that. Going into this game, knowing this cast, um, I know I need to build relationships early, and I want personally one on ones. Huh. Wow. We can make that happen. Like, if we know for sure it's going a certain way. I want to work with you. I want to 100%. go yeah, all the way. Like, I, who else? I want one person that I can trust 100%, and I want you to be that person. That's fine. Like, if, if you're down. I'm good with that. All right. Like, I want to go else, though. with us. We need someone each. It's like, I want, I, want, us I want us to be the core. That's, That's fine. fine. I want to go all the way to the end. That's fine. But we need someone else each. Yes. Someone That's why I was gonna also going to bitch. We both need to pull one person Laura. that we trust. You trust Laura? Laura. Does she trust you? Yes. Okay. I'll pull someone else. Um, Not I think, Mitch. Not Mitch. Okay. He's too big of a target. You need someone that's a more lesser game player. I'm going to try to keep him in the game as long as possible. Though. Agreed. That's what I want to do. He won't put us up. I've heard names, but not, but more like Josh brought up names. Yeah. You know he, what I mean? He said he, he brought up two names, yeah. like, without me even asking him. Yeah. So, yeah. I, th you know, I thought that was weird. Yeah. And, um, and, but I also heard him saying, um, you know, well, these two people, because they're irrelevant, um, but maybe we should make a big move and put somebody big up against and But I'm like, who's irrelevant? Yeah. Like, it's this is right. But anyway, how do you feel about working together? I really want to work with you. Me and I was just talking with Michael, and we want to, like, we were both like, we want to work with Dee Dee mm -hmm. so bad. No, I am in for that. Right. I, am in I was for speaking that. with Ryan. Mm -hmm. And he got really excited about Michael. Mm -hmm. Ryan and Michael are very good friends. Yeah. I'm poking around too. Show it to the camera. So Mitch, you know I have it. I will have you find the other because we have to present it simultaneously. Yeah. I will not tell anyone else I have it if you don't. Ditto. And I will help you find the other one. Ditto. Deal? Didn't mean to be creepy. I was just poking around myself. But... All right. Christian wants to work with us. Yes. 
Um, I'm good with that. I'm fine with that too. I'm good with that. Especially now. Um, I think we're both safe for him. Yeah. And I feel trust with Brody. Brody yeah, and I, I did too. Talk. Yeah. yeah. So. so we're kind of like in a. I feel, I feel like we're in a good We spot. have a, a two over here and a two over here. Yes. Two pieces in a pod, y'all. How about that? Two pieces in a pod. Do we all talk to Christian? Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. He basically kind of pitched me the same thing that he did the first time about like what the house wants. Consensus. Yeah. And, and he didn't say any names really. But the house will say who they want. Who they want. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like it's going to be. It'll I'll be his decision. I've only heard three names thrown out as possible targets. Yeah. Who? Dylan, Mitchell, and Josh. That's those are also yeah. the three that I heard. That's, that's all I've heard. I don't know. Dylan and Mitchell, I don't know anything about those dudes, especially like Dylan. The only thing I've heard about, the only thing I've heard about Mitchell is that he played a sneaky game in the past. And I'm like, didn't we all though? Like, <laughs> yeah, doesn't everybody? We're all here for a reason. Yeah. yeah. I haven't heard anything about either of them. And that's, a, that's why I'm not holding possibly. anything against Christian either from his yeah. past games. I mean, going by that, all of us are Oh, there's suspicious. a reason it's called unfinished business. Yes, yeah. <laughs> all of us are suspicious in this game because we've all done things in past games. That's why. Two players must agree to sit out of a competition to get access to the Green Star. Okay. We're working together. We're all wait, working. Okay. Please, wait, Jesus. Wait, can wait, we? wait, wait, James. James. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, okay. No, this is scary. Alliance. Alliance. I don't have anything against this guy. Okay. She can't win. I put her up multiple oh, times oh. in my season. Dude, we need to. <laughs> Totally be on our side. Oh, you no. said this no, last no, time, no, and no, she no, tried no. to scream Hell, the daddy over. Hell, she no. can. I promise you, dude. She, can. she yeah. fucked me over harder than anybody else in that game by going and saying she's gonna put. That's, 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 that's a different game. That's she's a different not. Game. She's still the same person. Hardcore with Christian and Laura and Michaelin. Ryan, I never trusted that dude, but we'll see. Like, I really want to work with him mm -hmm. because, and like, our we need to. Get like a core alliance that's mm -hmm. like we know we're working with each other I because really i still like haven't Michaelin. yeah dude i promise you everything michaelin says to you if she's on your side mm -hmm. is 100 percent true and she will never lie to you ever and james is like that too like on our side okay. um, i talked to him i i really like like four those four right exactly we i just, think and okay. and logan Logan too. Yes. I don't want us to hang out. Like, I don't want to agree with that. I, I feel like it'd be amazing for us, but I also want you to distance yourself from me. Correct. If you if you trust me 100, percent I do. I want you so to I, say you. I want you to say you haven't said much to me, and like I feel like if you start getting close with like people that I'm not with or I haven't talked too much. Grace said that my name was being thrown out as being going up on the block. I'm not letting you go. People are saying, you, and I want I you to know that. I want you to know that they, they're saying you're throwing. I want you to get in with people in this game. Um, who specifically do you want me to target? Target or work with? Work with. Okay. Okay. Um, which I, I have a good reputation with him already. Good. Tell him like you're not really close to me. Okay. If that's if that's good with you. Okay. Um, and. Ryan and Michael. Those three. Really? Michael was one of your biggest anti Christian people. That's why. Gotcha. But in regards to what the house is saying, I think everyone who kind of didn't vote for Josh has an opinion said Josh. Everyone who voted with, for Josh or James is saying who Josh said he would put up if he was HOH. Mm -hmm. Which is Dylan. He's kind of the third option that they mentioned, but he's really targeting Mitch. That's who he wanted out. Okay. Um, those are the three, only three names I've heard at all, really. Yeah. Um, I've heard those three names, I'll be honest. Mm -hmm. And, like, I appreciate you being honest with me and yeah, like, voting yeah, for right. me. Like, I I really want to, like, move no, forward. Yeah, like, no, I trust you because, like, I one, like you can read me, I can read you. Yeah. So that's a good reason for me to trust you beyond just, like, wanting to work with you. you know? I, I think I've told everyone here the same thing, um, that I am going with what the house says, and there is a majority, a clear majority for the top two uh, people. So the top two people are, sorry Josh, uh, you were the resounding first person, and uh, Mac was the second person. So, I'm sorry, I'll let the two know names. Josh and Mac, you have a no name for eviction. Please have a seat. 
<laughs> Not enough. Congratulations, Christian. You have won the power of the deck. So Christian has just won the power of veto competition. Um, I don't think it was a good move on his part. Come on, Christian, you're better than this. You can't win two challenges. I know one wasn't a challenge. You didn't need to win this. It didn't matter who went home. I'm super open to playing with whoever. Yeah. Um, if I can be an asset to you, I want to. Of course. Um, and I, you know, was wanting to see if, if we could kind of work together and. Yeah, dude. Look, between you and me. That's the name of the game. I think that I'm going to do an alliance with Ryan, uh, Michaelin, Logan, and possibly James. A top five kind of deal, which I really like because I really, I didn't get a reading on those people, but I like them. There is a power that if somebody, like, you know, they have to have, to have a pair of people to get stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> There's one that a pair can get a power if one person in the pair voted for the other one. So, if I can make sure <coughs> that everybody else is voting for Josh, if I vote for you so we can get that power together, mm -hmm. can you keep that quiet and we can each get a power? What is the power? We don't know. Uh -oh. It's one of those star things. Uh -oh. And so you would get it and I would get it. Okay. Check upstairs, there's a thing that if you set out a two challenge, set out of a challenge and another person dies, you get a power. So, I would potentially be willing to set out of a challenge, but I don't know if one of y'all would as well. Let's ask you all, do you want to do it? You know, like Claire right now before someone else does? I don't know about any really strong and thick alliances that have been happening, but like if I could be in the hot seat, I need to prove my worth as somebody who's worth keeping around, right? And my biggest thing is that I was not trying to make a huge amount of waves. I was just giving my honest opinion to everybody because that's just the game that, that, that I was going to play. And I don't Whatever. Whatever. He'll get himself evicted eventually. I don't, I don't give a shit what kind of honesty he's trying to play up. I'm so honest. I've been honest. I've told this person and this person the same exact thing as what I'm telling you. Blah, blah, blah. Just, dude, just... I'm not buying it, so just move on. Josh is the Tasmanian devil. Yeah. Do we know more about where Josh stands than do we do Mac does? Josh, Mac, I, don't think, I don't think exactly. Which honestly, like, she hasn't pitched anything except for to stay. But what does that mean? Okay. At least we know that Josh is most likely untrustworthy. <laughs> oh, that's so good. No, but I kind of get. Whereas do you Mac, do you I don't the, know anything about. Um, I'm going to stay with what I've been saying. Um, I'm going to leave it to the house, so we're not going to use it. All right, the power of you guys not going to use, which means. Mac and Josh are the final nominees. Yes. We'd like to use the green star thing. Okay, yes. so what are you offering me? We're going to sit out of the HOH. Okay, um, so since the nominees have been mocked, you will, you will, you would have gotten a chance to compete. So I accept that. You can grab your stars. Wait, so they're not competing in the next HOH competition? Correct. But they have power. Yes. Okay. They have one. Yes. There's one power. Yes. Correct. But only one can use it. There is one power, and the one who uses it is the first one who offers to use it. Do we all know what that power does? Uh, they did. So, mm. one of us gets to force the veto to be put next time. Yeah. I don't think it has to be next time. It's anytime. Anytime. We can. Use, it can be any other. Anytime. anytime. Okay. Okay. Yes. So, That's good. If anybody's willing to pitch, keep in Josh. I think the benefit to keeping Josh is that he is a ruckus, and as long as the target's on him, it's not on us. But the problem with that is, if he gets into power, you have no idea because he puts to everyone except for you, I guess. Christian, <laughs> <laughs> well, well, he said he pitched that he has a circle, and if we're with him, we're in his circle. But he pitched that to everyone. You can't Everyone's in a circle. People in your freaking circle. I feel like so. that is him trying to start the formation of his. Circle. But there's a lot of people wanting to just vote Mac out because they don't know where she stands. Mm -hmm. Josh is playing up all this honesty stuff. Like every other word out of his mouth is, I'm honest, I was honest about this, I'm honest about that. And I'm like, I'm not buying it, but that's where Christian's head is at right now, is to keep Josh in the house. Talk to Brody. He said, James told him that Josh threw my name out before the nomination ceremony. He batched it. So I went to James, he confirmed it. And then I went to Josh and he denied it, but also said like, so I said this kind of thing. 
I don't trust James anymore or jo uh, Josh anymore. I I would want him to go go out go home. I would vote him out, and I I don't want you telling people to like, keep him if like That's unless unless saying. you want to unless no, you want to. I, I, I wanted to clear that up. I heard. Yeah, I, I, I heard saying, you were saying I was that. saying it because that's what you said, and mm -hmm. we didn't talk. No, about and, and, like, that was, like, I told you my reasoning. I was like, he made a great pitch, and Mac hasn't talked to me, but he's politicking so hard. That's what I tried and, to tell you. And what he's saying, he'll he'll say the same type of thing. He'll change one little thing to everyone. Mitch. Pro probably me. Laura, whatever Laura told you, <clears throat> that was before the veto ceremony. Ceremony before I talk to everyone. Okay. Okay. That doesn't stand. I want Josh. Okay. I like L Laura's stuff. I hadn't talked to her, so like she was saying okay. stuff like. Okay. But like I, everything stands for what I told. <laughs> Is James saying that I'm voting to keep Josh? Um. That's what I was just told. Technically and I'm yes, stunned. but he said it's because Josh said. Let me pop into this. Why? No! No, Christian, I, Christian, this is what happened. Me and okay. Christian had a conversation and he said he wanted to keep Josh and then he changed his mind after we talked. I'm leaning away from Josh because he's been so vague towards me. Christian wanted Josh to stay and he now he just said that he wants him out. He, um, he, he was updated he, on information. Yeah, he, he heard that his name was being thrown around and slandered by Josh. I have, if I have your three votes, mm -hmm. I have uh, James, I have Jessica, and I have, uh, I've talked to Jessica in so long, y'all. This is gonna be a survival yeah, whisper have, session, y'all. Okay. Okay. And, uh, I have six. I think, I think I might have a seven. I don't know. But if you go tell, like, the whole way this household is working, if you go talk to whoever you're kind of on the fence in your groups, that could save me. And look, again, I'm going to help y'all make an alliance and make a strong thing rather than if Matt stays, it just gets more drawn out and all this. Okay, okay. I'm here, but I have to No, no, I, I, I see what you're saying. I just want to tell you right now. I have I have Logan, I have Ron, I have James, I have Grace, I have Ron and Jessica. I have almost seven votes. I have six, there's a few. But if you vote with me, like, I'm here, okay? I'm strong. If I stay in here, I'm going to help you make it. I am voting for Mac. No, I'm pretty sure Josh is going out. Who do you vote to, Mac? Mac. By a vote of 9 to 2, Josh, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. Thank you for playing. I'm nervous! Ah! Oh, no! Oh, wow. You are going to end house already. That's so funny, Chris. You're going to be for us. It's the Abbey. It's the competition. So if I can answer now, I lose the veto. Oh, like if somebody we don't like gets a veto to have another competition? Yeah. Oh! But only one of us can use it, whoever uses it first. Oh. Got a pretty, really good alliance. I really trust Jessica and Laura and James. I feel like we're a little <sighs> four group, but then I've also got really good trust with Dylan and with Didi and Christian. Um, I mean, I feel like none of them are against each other, so we could be one big thing, but just kind of keep, keep the ace there. I'm not super close to Mac. But out of necessity, I brought her in so I could get this. Um, it's the Ada Veto competition. We can only claim it if one of us had voted for the other person, and I knew that Josh was going to go, I was pretty sure. So, I agreed to it with Mac. My thought was to maybe get her voted out so that I could use it before her. Do you happen to know who the other person that... Because I know one person who voted for me. I thought that it was... Michael mm -hmm. and Grace. Okay. Okay. Wrong. okay, one of those names was also brought up to me by someone else. I don't know what Miss Dee Dee and Brody were like suspicious. Like, Laura said, like, they gave us um, the idea to like get the stand up and do it. It was power. me and you and Mitch and Mike. So, and I just basically walked yeah. into the room and they were like, hey, do y'all want to sit out? And I was yeah. like, yeah. So, but am I working with y'all? Like, am I working with that group very closely? Exactly. Well, no. yeah. So, what I think our best move is me, us three need to hide like us working together. So, what I think we need to, like, if we're not working with Mitch, we need to like distance ourselves from Mitch. I'm not working with that dude at yeah. all. Uh, first of all, Mitch, I don't even know this boy. I don't even know what he's about. I don't have any interest in working with him. Like, what the hell? So, when I find out people are suspicious of me and Jessica, please tell me, if I had a final two with someone, or I was working that closely with them, why would I stand up 
in front of the entire house and do something with that person like make a move with that person clearly it was just like a one-time thing like it was basically like me being handed a power which who refuses a power in this game not me I don't think they're in a big alliance. I want to go talk to Laura and um, Jessica. Okay. Just now. I don't think they're in a big alliance. I think Mitch, she, they said Mitch came up to them and told them, hey, do this. Mm -hmm. oh, to right. Laura and Jessica. Really? He's playing two sides. Two sides. And we all know he black. So that means the same to me, you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't so it's gotta be Michael. It has to be. It has to be Michael. So we know Michael stands, and we know Mitch is playing both sides. Which Taylor can do the same thing too because he didn't know how. But that's them trying to have two power. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wait. You see what I'm saying? Oh my god. Because he has his power, and then he was involved in that, so they'll feel they don't have to involve him, but they can. So we gotta keep him. Okay. Plus, he knows I have. Fuck. You know, but he only thinks I have one, so we need to leave him on the wall as long as we can. So, because then he's gonna still think that I'll have one, and we don't want the other I needed to make sure Mitch was the target because Mitch was actually the one running around, and it's actually sketching me out. I think I'm gonna try to jump on that, and that's what I'm gonna do. I think I've been doing a good job of creating relationships. I'm gonna keep working with James as a one person. Laura and Jessica as a two, Dee Dee, Logan, and Brody, and me as a four. You may notice I have less facial hair. That's because I read that you become more inviting in your appearance if you have less facial hair and people actually get to see the outline of your face. Little nuances like that, I changed. And uh, I want Brody to think I'm weak. I want Miss Dee to think I'm trusting. I want Laura and Jessica to think I am a good ally. That's, that's it. I'm appealing to emotions. I'm playing psychological warfare. And I don't care. Anyone who stands in my way, I'm going to win this okay. game. Cause I, cause not gonna lie, I did campaign for Josh to stay, but when he was running around with his head cut off, trying to get votes, I was like, I can't vote for him. Yeah. Like, I have no clue who it could be. Yeah. Because is there is there anyone that you that makes you nervous about, like, where they, like what would happen further into the game? I would say someone I've always been kind of nervous about is Miss Dee Dee. She's kind of a legendary player. Mm-hmm. And like, as much as like we don't want to go back on games that have been played before, it's really hard not to it is. with a player like Miss Dee. Yeah, and, and I wanted to check in with you because I feel like I haven't talked to you enough yeah, recently. Well, the thing is, I feel like we trust each other, and so yeah. like, we don't want to be seen together all the time, and I'm okay. No, with that. and I am as well. I truly want to work with Matt. Mm -hmm. I and like she's having, but she's also flying under the radar. Yeah, and I like having an alliance member that I can trust, that they know what they're gonna do. And then we can both have different ideas and bounce things off each other. Yeah. That's kind of like why I want to work with you, because I can sit here and I know you have a game mindset to where I can sit here and be like, hey, what's best for us? And we can bounce things off versus just like one of us having an idea yeah. and like, oh, let's fucking go with yeah. it. Mitch. Look, I want to trust you. That was a big show I just put on for you. I know you've been ratted out. I hate to break it to you. Jess and Laura ratted you out. I know you voted to keep Josh, because I know you wanted that power. Grace makes me a little worried. Michael now makes me worried. Not James, uh, not Christian, not Logan. These are the two that I know the least about. Um, she does make me a little bit nervous because she's hard to read. She's so hard to read. But I also know that she is aligned with James. Okay. And I trust James. Same. Not gonna lie, I did campaign for Josh to stay, but when he was running around with his head cut off. Okay. I have my two. Um, so I am putting Jessica up because nobody for sure gave me reason that she voted to keep me here and I think that she was the other person other than Mitch who voted me out and then I'm also putting 
Grace up because at this point I'm not exactly sure where her loyalties lie, even though I know that she voted to keep me here. I All right, so Jessica and Grace, you have the nominated for nomination. Have a seat on the nomination chair. Oh. 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 oh! And James has it. Congratulations, James. You have won the power of you. Everyone's here. You've been power of you forever. So what's the plan? I, okay, the HOH, I think, wants Jessica gone. Yeah. But she doesn't want me to use the yeah. POV. I. If I did, I have no clue. Do you know her up. reasoning for putting me? She said she wanted you to stay, but she, I, don't, I don't think she had a good idea. Yeah, she didn't know. Okay. So I wouldn't talk to her first, just because, I mean, yeah. if she's not willing to commit to, I want this person out, and we don't mind who that person is. Yeah. I think well, it's, you know, I want you here. But there's no way that we're cowering down and voting Grace out. That no was way. not my own. Yeah, I know, I know, yeah. I know. I just, yeah, I just wanted you to hear that, so you're not nervous. Yeah, I, I yeah. How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm, I'm scared just because every time I've been on the block, I've been like, oh, I'm safe, and then I get voted on. Well, we need two more votes. I mean, obviously, for one thing. Yeah. Right. Okay. So you need to manufacture those. Yeah. Some of them. I would prefer to keep Jessica because if that is something, that's five. We could eliminate one that before. Because Grace is one. I have not talked game with Grace at all. I don't know who she's with, what she thinks. I have no I idea. I have not talked game with her other than to ask her who she voted for and mm -hmm. she told me. I, um, have I don't feel threatened by her, but I could be wrong. Now, yeah, I, I don't, don't feel threatened the only, either, but I feel threatened I don't know by which her one because if she is associated with the five. We need to think about She is part of five. And so you might not be, be threatened by one. But you can We need to think about the power. She has a power too. So who do you want to see out was my, my previous question. Uh Jessica. Okay. Is what I'm leaning towards. What about y'all? What are how are y'all? We don't know. I, yeah. yeah. She's also my thing with Jessica is she is <coughs> a wild girl. I just I don't I haven't been able to pick up throughout the game of where my intentions are. I'm not going to use the veto. I don't know who's going to go up. And she's not going to use it for people you're allied with. What's the point of having an elect? She could just easily put you up. Okay, but I'm saying, I, mean, I feel like we're very clearly the three of us and Laura are working together. Like, I, I, This doesn't really help me, though. This would, okay, force, this would force you to use it, and then it's like... Yeah. I've talked to Jessica more. You guys are the swing votes. Oh, uh, really? As far as I know. Oh, this is news <laughs> to me. I'm this, glad I'm also sorry. news to me. <laughs> um, because I'll tell you right now, Dylan, me, Laura, James are gonna vote for Grace. Mm. Ryan, Michael, and um, Logan. Who's the other person? Didi. Oh, I didn't talk to Didi. I, Didi, I don't know. She's the only. Me, you, and Didi. Me, you, you, you two, and Didi are the only people I haven't spoken to. I'm pretty sure. I know everybody else. I didn't even realize this was. I haven't oh. talked to Grace much at all, and I, I, she like asked me to talk to her, so I need to talk to her. But like. All right, as of right now, I would vote Grace. I, I want Jessica to stay. Oh, yeah. Everyone wants, like... Well, that's what Mitch just told us. He wants Jessica to stay, mm -hmm. and so do I, but I haven't said that because the HOH, the HOH wants her gone, so I'm not going to... I mean, she, for all I know, she could backdoor me for, saying, for going against her right now, so I'm not going to say that, but I don't want to vote. Jessica out. Mm -hmm. like, what are yeah. y'all gonna I, do? I, yeah, like, I, I just talk when uh, Mitch came out here, I'm perfectly fine going whichever way y'all need and which would work best for us as a group. I think Grace is working with Ryan, Michael, and us. Which I think is a very fair thought yeah. process, especially I, once um, Dylan, a second ago, was standing out here and telling us that, were you out here? You were out here. Yeah. Yeah. No, you, had just, you had walked out right at the same time. So. Yeah. They, they are working together, and that's kind of the opposite side of the house right now. Mm -hmm. Jessica's kind of in the middle, almost leaning towards our side. She's not involved with them, so I'd rather see her stay. James, you want the power of veto. What are you going to do with it? I've decided to not use it. All right. So James has not used the power of veto. I don't know. Jessica, like in our line, the one the lines that we have with uh, Mike Lynn and James and all of them, we're all learning to keep grace. And... That's why I was like, well, shit, like, where is Dylan going in? Like, yeah. So, that's I, if that's what the majority wants, I'll do it. I'm, yeah. I'm willing to do what the majority wants. Yeah. He solidified that five, and he was like, dude, we have such strong numbers. And he said they're named everyone. And he named me with him, and I felt like saying, I went in your little bunny in the front. Mac wants Grace to stay. I agree with that. I think she's being strong-armed by the five. 
Yeah, well, we're going to like take them down right now and vote, just, and just vote for I, Jessica to stay. Right? We have to. We have to. We can't keep five. Me? We have to throw them away. Me, you, Brody, Christian, Dean. That's five votes right there. I, to, I need you to either tell Brody or Christian because he's going to wrap up. I swear to you, Ryan just blew it up. Yes. Okay. What did you talk about with Laura? Is she gonna on, like on that page, or she's Laura? Her there, Laura's like I don't really know where's gonna go with that. Okay. Well, but it would be in Laura's benefit to vote Jessica. I know they went up with the power, but then she's the only one that can use the power. So wouldn't that be smart for her? Yeah, I don't know if she's thought about that. Anyway, it's actually the second valid point in like two minutes. That thank you. Thank you. I'm a person. Um, if us four and Logan yeah, yeah. all vote to keep Grace, then it's Max decision and she's going to vote on Jessica anyway, so we don't even have to Correct. order any other numbers. However, if that. we did do one more, then we'd be extra golden, but... Right. It all comes down. By a vote of six to four. Grace, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. Thank you for playing. Craig Dancer? Seven dollars and eighty-five cents. All right, so congratulations, James. You are the new head of household. Woo. Are you actually trying to work with that other half? <laughs> well, you know, I'm trying to keep so here's the thing. If you're, you're in the minority, who cares? If they win, I don't want us to be on the block. Okay, but why not try to get them out instead, instead of catering to a minority? Can you at least put Mac? I don't care who the other person is. Maybe. I don't care if I break my word to her. She didn't tell me she wouldn't put me up, so I don't think it was really finalized. We'll see. I obviously wanted Mitch, but he said that's not a smart move. Um, that's what we've yet. I would think yeah. Mitch too. I, I, I guess Mitch, not, but so yeah, then it depends I, on what he can win. Right. Because like Mitch can win a veto, and Mitch has a hundred like advantages. But Laura, when are we going to? Like we need to attack. I don't think James is gonna do Laura. Um, you don't? No, we won't. Because yeah. they're close. They're close. Well, he needs to spread that juju from her to me also. Yeah. I'm my my her. issue is we had said if great when Grace stays. We'll have the numbers. It's very clear that there's a line, and so I would be fine with Brody, Christian, like that group, the group that voted against us. Yeah, I think is up for grabs. Yeah, that that whole group is up for grabs. I was saying uh, Dylan versus maybe Jessica again. Yeah, so Brody. And we want Dylan. He would. He wants Dylan to go home, or he's putting Dylan up to scare him. If we have a better person, we'll vote them out. Yeah, and then if anyone wins the veto, we throw up someone like Christian. Mm -hmm. Or Brody. Or Mitch. I feel like things are going pretty well. Hey, like, I'm staying by this. Me, you. Well, obviously, man. I, there's no... <laughs> that's not even a question. I think we're doing a great job. I agree. I think you do have to take a shot at this side. And, like, my side. Because your side is, like, like they're out, outnumbered. Yes. Take a shot. Who? I'm thinking Dylan. You want to put Dylan? I want to put Dylan in some much He has a... Yo, do you know the Mitch's power? Yes. He can force a second veto. Yes. I don't want to put him up. Yeah, that's fine. He's thinking Dylan is the main one he's throwing Dylan up there. Mm -hmm. And then he wants Jeff. Okay. I think it's terrible for us. And I think if we can get Prue to convince James to put Mitch up, because I, I feel like Brody's starting to build a relationship with James. Mm -hmm. If we can convince that, I think Mitch is the best one to do. But it's all about the power. And James, I, I told James, or, yeah, I told James, I was like, just throw Mitch up. Yeah. And he was like, why? And I was like, he's playing two sides right now. And he's got a power. And he was like, yeah, but I don't want him to use the second veto and like, have two chances at the veto. It's not personal. It's just, you know, you told him that you were going to vote a certain way. And so those people on that side of the house are very anti you at this point because of that. I never and specifically said I was going to do it. That's fine. I mean, I'm I not. Can yeah, that. you may well have said that. I don't know. I'm not saying you did or didn't. That's just where my mind's at. <laughs> they were trying to strong arm me. I have something to know about that too. They were trying to strong arm me to vote with them, and I said that I would consider it. And I was lying to them. I never said that I was going to flat out do this. I'm gonna nominate um, Dylan and Jessica. All right, Dylan. Jessica, you have been nominated for eviction. James, you have anything to say for yourself? Um, it was a tough call. I mean, there's not really a good situation of who I really want out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who else 
niches purely on my own. Not in the middle. Like he's he's trying to fool them, but he's like only like loyal to like I think Brody maybe no. Mm -mm. I would think you. He's got. I, here's the thing. I just don't agree, and I understand you feel that way strongly. And I'm 100 percent good with getting out next round. Yeah, my vote. Who? Yeah. If you can get him up there. And if you think that all those people are willing to put them up, great. You all know about me using the veto on Dylan, leaving Jessica on the block. James puts up Mitch. Mitch is going to play his power to play the second veto, but we go try hard. Don't let Mitch get it and vote Mitch out. I'd be okay with it. I mean, obviously that benefits me, but. If you don't want uh, James to be mad at you, I could use if this and force you to use it, but then it, you would use it on Dylan anyway, so that doesn't this. Work. It would eliminate your power, but it would also save face with you and James. What? You're still on the block, but then... Oh my god. No, no, no. I take him off. I use it on him. James isn't mad at me. Using her power, using yes. her power would save face with you. Yes. What are you going to do with it? I choose not to use the power of you. So, Jessica has used the green force star, which forces the use of the power of veto. Huh. So, Christian, instead of, so you have to save one of the two numbers. Yeah. <laughs> Christian, I need you to say it out loud. You need to say it, Christian. Is. Um, Dylan, I'll take you off. Okay, Dylan has been saved from the block, and the, block. Uh, the green star is no longer um, applicable. All right, so James, as HOH, you must name or replace the nominee to go up against Jessica. Who do you choose? Mitchell. All right, Mitch, you have been nominated for eviction. All right. Holy crap. Another veto. Oh, 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 this is so fun. All right, this, 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 this star is Haley's Comet, which adds another power veto competition. James, the two nominees, and three very good select players. So the closest player got one minute and 57 seconds, and the winner of the power veto is Christian. Woo! Dude, I got a minute 56. Aww. Okay, everyone, so get ready for a veto and eviction ceremony. By a vote of 9 to 0, Mitch, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. Thank you very much. Uh oh. That finger is not pointing at me. All right, everyone. This round is a special format round. Mm -hmm. It is an asteroid belt round. For this round, there will be no official veto competition. Instead, it will be an opt-in kind of competition for the veto. Only the people who compete can win, and you choose whether or not you compete. So we're going to have a regular HOH competition, and then we will have. Um, talking time until they nominate and we evict at that nomination ceremony. So upstairs we will have in uh, one of the bedrooms uh, several boxes with numbers on them. Uh, there will be a clue in there to a scavenger hunt type situation where if you solve the scavenger hunt it will tell you which box has the power of veto in it. But there's a catch. If you enter the room at all you must choose a box. One of the boxes has the power of veto and all of the others have potential punishments. All right, Dini, you are the new. That is the only way I can win that challenge. The asteroid belt is officially open oh. upstairs. Can I do um, it? You can also do it. Yes. So, so, so I want to do it. Uh, do it. Get ready for the nominations. We ain't playing in that. I. I I'm not doing. I'm not doing that. My. Okay, tell me what we're doing then. My tummy says, get stay the away from that room. So we just did um, the challenge where you have a stick and you have a brick and you're trying to knock over everyone else's brick. And right now the asteroid belt is open. So you can go and follow this series of clues for someone to win the power veto or not. Because if you get it wrong, there's a possible punishment, punishment in your box. I was under the impression that pretty much everyone was going for this uh, little veto thing box so I like ran up there to be the first of course and um, I got every, the number I wanted
I thought I knew what a power was, but I think I don't know what the power is, but I have to. <laughs> I definitely got the wrong box. Like, I know I got the wrong box. Like, Brody got the right one. I'm nervous about this being a punishment. Also, though, like, the other side of the house. So, like, James, uh, Mike Lynn, who else is over there? Ryan. And the, I think that's it. No, there's a fourth somebody. I can't remember. But they, like, didn't play. Like, they didn't even try to get the veto, and I don't know why. Um, James to Christian. Yeah, James is the one that worries me the most. Like, if I had to pick two out of three, James would be gone. Easy. I am trying hella hard to get Dee Dee, James, Mike Lynn, and Ryan on the same freaking page, and it is tough. James keeps on tugging at Dee Dee's side, trying to be like, like throwing her for a loop, and I'm like, Dee Dee, don't worry about him, please. But at the same time, deep down, I'd be kind of worried about James because he'd be talking to Laura a lot. Brody has a very high chance of ever having that. So I'm saying, I'm gonna say they, because there are obviously four people that we are not friendly with, I guess, is, is what. None of them played in the veto competition. So why do you think that? Me and Laura were just talking about it. Laura, why? Why? That's dumb. Well, James told me, because James tried it before and couldn't get it. And so he thought it was going to be a hard puzzle and take a long time. It wasn't. And um, he said he made it sound like they were trying to hurt my trust by not doing it. But they also haven't included me in anything. The first time they talked to me was just now. Correct. You know, and then you were scared that your name was being thrown out and... And James threw my name out, but he just sat right here and was like... Well, he also told me, he told me he was putting me up on the block that he wouldn't tell me not. Like, he told me that it was someone else's fault and not mine, or not his, but... I don't um, get that. There's a power. Whoever stays gets a power, gets the yellow store. Okay, so here's what we do. If you want, put me up against James. That's what I'm thinking. And although I didn't have you, because I feel so confident, because if I put James up and Brody has, you know, he's not putting I know, that's what I'm saying, then we got it. But maybe. Christian told me that James said he would put up me. Yes. And um, Mitch told me that, but I don't know if I can trust him. Like, I don't know if that really happened. No, James said it to me directly. I told you that a little while ago. You did ago. tell me that? I told you that, but I said I didn't want to run and tell you because you did tell me if that. it came back that I'm running around you did telling you, oh, I'm glad I forgot that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, oh, I forgot. Christian told you, and he said it to me. Remember? <laughs> We're going to put me against James. Oh. Okay, no, let's do None of them played in the veto, so we know that none of them have the veto. We think Brody has the veto. So James, uh, James would have the votes to go home, and then I would get the power. That's what me and Dee Dee just discussed and agreed upon. So my first nominee is Dylan. I'm sorry. Um, you've already been nominated and... <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I didn't want to win this uh, competition. I thought I was going to lose. It's the, one of my worst things. Okay, so my next nominee, I'm nominating because of what I'm hearing in the game and more than one person has told me that this person has said my name and brought up my name. So I'm strictly going by trust of what these people have told me. So I'm putting James on the block. I got the veto. All right, Brody, congratulations. You have won the power of veto. I'll get it now. <laughs> it's so shiny, I think I have to keep it for myself. Well, that just feels right. Oh, so. I'm gonna keep it for myself. All right, so Brody does not use it, which means Dylan and James, you are this round's final nominees. At the end of the ceremony, one of you will be evicted from the Big Brother game. I vote to evict James. Hi. Who do you vote to evict? I vote to evict James. Thank you. So you're oh, Matt. Hello. Who do you vote to evict? I'm going to vote to evict Dylan. Hello, Ryan. Hello. Who do you vote to evict? Dylan, you had a chance to come on our side, but you didn't take it, so I vote to evict you. Hopefully, that is what happens. Thank you. Great, thank you. Oh, Michael. Hello. Who do you vote to evict? I vote to evict Dylan, because that's what you get for being a flip-flopper when you tell me you're going to vote one way and do another. 
Alright, thank you. Hello, Logan. Hi. Who do you vote to evict? I have to vote with my final two. I think I vote to evict James. Thank you. Do I want to be a legend or do I want to win? That's what I'm here with. I get royally piss off Dee Dee and go against her will completely and be safe around by saving James. Or I can vote James out and go with what potentially could get me to the end. But it's so fun to be chaotic. But I just feel like I've done so much boring that I have to stick with what feels right in this moment. And what feels right is voting out James, so I vote to evict James. By a vote of four to three, James, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. Thank you for playing. As you have seen on this display, the player to claim the yellow star will be the surviving nominee of the round four eviction ceremony. So Dylan, go grab the yellow star and read what's on the back. Center of the universe. universe. All right, what's in the back? The next round is about me. It's right. about you. The next round is about you. Yeah. Logan voted against me. I knew he would. No, he, no, no, he, he did didn't. not. He, he had, had to vote with us. He had to vote with us. The people that voted against you are Ryan, Michael, and, and uh, okay. Mac. So now Interesting. So I, I went through the whole thing like five times in my head before it happened. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. As you recently heard from the back of the yellow star, this round is Dylan themed. So for this competition, well, first let's explain what this means. Dylan is immune for the week and cannot be voted out. But unfortunately, he also cannot win any of the competitions this week. Okay. Veto um, included? Uh, veto included. But he does have a lot of control over the competitions. This next challenge is called the Shady Challenge. I will ask you questions and you will answer with the name of another house guest still in the game. Normally, in the past, you had to try to match with the majority of house guests. Oh, but this time, you're trying to match with Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> and Christian, you are the new head of household. Woo! Right, are we not ready for now? And you seem to have heard from Dylan that I'm going to be the next out, so I just want to know where that came from. No, I just assumed because y'all were the votes that didn't, that voted to evict, um, Je not just Dylan last round, that he'd be coming after y'all. There were more than just two. There were three of you. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, I was thinking of putting up Mac and Ryan. Why those two? Mike one's pissed at me right now. Like, can we just like hash it out out there? <laughs> oh. Because I voted that she's going out this round. <laughs> Do we just put it up? If you're okay with it. Yeah. If not, like, Ryan, Ryan, it doesn't matter to me. Why not both? I'm just curious. I need both. Do you think it'd be bad? Like, I, I'm blatantly going after her. Well, the thing is, there's, um, there's the chance that Mac goes home. Uh, let me have I think you voted for me. To leave? Mm -hmm. I did, because you lied to me. Or I never I never told y'all that I would vote her out. Okay. I told y'all that I would consider it. Okay, I thought whenever we were talking about it, you were like, wow, another logical point, another logical point. And it, we kept saying, and if we have a majority right here, then we'll be good. And you were like, yeah. And you never did say, like, I will vote this way. But this when we were, just, like, in the group and we're like, and if we just have, like, us five, then we'll be majority. And then if not, then Matt picks. And you were like, yep, yeah, all right. And we just left. We thought that that meant that we were all in majority. Okay. I don't ever recall saying, yes, I'm 100% on board with this. Let's do it. Look of mine. So we're all keep race. Yes. Okay. Well, no, yeah, I never say you said that, but like Correct. when there's a group of us and we're like, so if we have majority and we do this, then we're good, and everyone goes, yeah, we good, and we'd walk out. You didn't have to say, I am 100% doing this. All you had to say was, yeah, we good, or you'd be like, I need to go talk to someone else. I would have been like, oh, okay, we, Dylan's not with us. Uh, you're thinking Ryan and Mike Clinton? Mm -hmm. No, you Which should. I understand why, because the three vote thing. Mm -hmm. But aside from that, like, what's his plan for the week after? He's still fully on board, as am I with me, you did. As a little, as a little, little like, quality. kiki, fun little squad. The kiki quad? I don't like that. I want to stick with you and Brody, 100%. I want to stick with you and Brody. I do not have a final yeah. deal with anybody in this yeah. house. I also like Jessica. I like Jessica. And let's not say anything about it between no, us No, we don't even need to discuss that no, right now, because no. we're not okay. there. But yeah. You're wearing my jacket, he's cool. <laughs> yes. Still working with Christian Brody. Dee Dee, Jessica, and Dylan. That's like our core six people. I'm gonna put up Ryan and Michael and make sure you She was just 
she just got in a fight with Dylan and Brody. <laughs> like two separate arguments, but they were still like happening. Like, like serious? Like Brody said his was like thick. I didn't. It didn't. She didn't sound like she felt like it was fake. But I don't know what that was about. It's gonna be me and Michaelin on the block because our ally decided not to vote with us. <laughs> but where does that put you now? Like after Mac, Macklin, and Eileen, like where are you I know, in that alliance? I know for a fact that okay. I really hope it's not both of you. I don't. I'm, it is both of us I'm, going up. Yeah. I'm gonna go try you to think? pitch. No, I know. I'm gonna pitch oh, okay. as hard as I can. Well, to you, the the to so you, don't, you, don't, you don't need to pitch. Don't pitch because that's gonna make. Honestly, I'm just trying to help you out. If you try to be nice to us and like pitch to be nice to us. You're gonna be the first one to leave because you're associated with us, and we're the three pariahs. I think he knows group. that though. Oh, Michael got so mean to me. Well, she knows she's on short. Are we talking to her over Ryan? I I would rather talk to Michael because I think she's I more reliable to blow. Uh, sorry, Michael and Ryan. Right? Sorry, guys. Michael and Ryan have been nominated for eviction. Close this without going over. Yeah. Yeah, so Logan wins. I would prefer you Michael use Michael. Michael. Michael picked me to play. Yeah, I would prefer you use your Michael. That's okay. Jeez. I would just as well use this veto on you if you were up there. Yeah. No. Like, it ain't, ain't nothing. Oh, yeah. But yeah. I'm gonna put it back. Okay, I figured. I think Logan might use a veto. And who? I don't know. But whoever's going to uh, take it off, I'm putting Mac up and we'll I'm out whoever's going back. You're burning out whoever's what? From the Yama. Oh, whoever Mac is. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. And I have said from the beginning, I'm open to working with anyone who is open to working. And I like the rapport that we have and the mm -hmm. bluntness and the honest. Like, literally, you coming out and being like, all right, champ, it's you. Like, yeah. I really appreciate well, that. So, no, what's the point of me bullshitting you? Mm -hmm. You're going to find out in 10 minutes. Right. I mean, I'm going to bullshit you and I'm going to bullshit you and then you're going to get mad because I'm going to bullshit you. Christian's going to put Mac up there because he already said he would do that. Mm -hmm. So, it would be you and Mac. We get Mac out, and then it would be me, you, and Brody, and Logan's got D, and we'd have majority. Let's you vote say. Mac out. You, me, Ryan, Michael, DB, Christian. Can I tell you something right and now? And get rid of everyone else. Here's my fear. D and Christian are not going to go with that. No? No. D I, 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 I sacrificed my vote to vote the way that Dee Dee told me to, to vote out James. I agree with you. I think that she would do the same for me to vote out Mac. Like, for whoever goes out in her place to go home. And then Mac. And have a power group remain mm -hmm. and go after the people that are just hanging out. No, I don't feel comfortable with Ryan and Michael and Michael together. Together. Uh, I have chosen to use the power of you on my phone. All right, Michael, and you have to save the block. Matt. All right, Matt, you have been nominated for eviction. Honestly, he is a better player than me, and he's a lot better at campaigning and, like, getting people to like him. So that kind of makes me nervous because also I think that a lot of the people in the game think I'm playing kind of dirty. Dee Dee, you have to be. That's what I need Dee Dee. One of them says no. We're not, we don't have numbers. Right, mm -hmm. but she's gonna, she's probably not gonna go on the same side of the Christian's head. Yeah. If she sees this side, she'll probably go against. I think she's close with Christian. They're trying to sway me. Straight up. Who's that? That. Logan, Michael, and Ryan. Mm -hmm. They want me to vote out Matt. Right, of course. Well, yeah. They're making good points. Okay. I'm listening, but I'm not at all committing to anything. Okay. But I want to let you know what I'm going through. <laughs> I trust you a lot. Yeah. If I'm going to you about this. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like equally, I'm like, they both need to get out for, mm -hmm. for my game of it. Do you prefer one over the other? Um, I probably want to get Mac out more at this point. Okay, I'm kind of on board with that. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what's. I don't know what's making me feel that way. I think it's just the lack of commitment to anything. Yeah. Just committed to anything. Yeah. I think um, Logan and Brody are making up. 
And I think they're pulling in Mike Lynn, and they have Mac as a window. But we have five. They have so, um, Mike Lynn and Ryan are like a duo. Yeah, everyone knows that. Yeah. That that was my thing. And like, I feel like Mac is not going to do it. It's a I, I think let's get back up. We need no. to come to a general. No, not analysis. with what was just said. No. no. I kind of. I see where you're coming from. That's a strong three, and they're all going to compete in the next competition. And guess who's going Yeah. Mac has given, and this is just personal thing, thing for me, is that she's given me, like, clear, like, obvious, obviously that she doesn't, she wants to get me out. Yes. But at the same time, I'd have rather her done that to me instead of thinking we were friends the whole damn game and working on the same side. And then, but that's part of why, that's part of what makes me, like, want to get rid of her. I just want it to be known. I am very highly considering putting that. I think Logan is trying to save Ryan, so it'll be Logan, Ryan, Mike and Brody. Line. Logan's been in Brody's ear this whole round, and I think they're going to add Brody to that, and I think Brody... Brody would not turn on us. I don't us. think Brody would turn on us. Just with the conversation I just had with But Brody. anyway, like I don't, I don't think that would either. Oh, but, but I don't, I don't want to keep them three in the game, you know. But why? Like, I don't think Brody. But yeah, why does Brody want to keep him? Yeah, that's worrying me too. I don't want to like shit on you here. Like I don't want to fuck I've, you. I've, I've, I've taken like you. stabs for people. I know you have. Yeah. I, if you want to vote that way, I'm okay. I, I don't um, want you to take it as an attack against you yeah. or the, uh, any alliance. And, and I'm staying with you. Okay. Brody is ruining everything. Logan is ruining everything. I respect that you haven't made up your mind. I would firmly ask, please keep Ryan. I think it would be good I for will everyone's game. consider it. I respect that you haven't made up your mind. I would. Firmly ask, please keep Ryan. Can you kick him out? I'm trying to kick him out. We're good. Hey, we're good. Logan might be next. I'm fine with that because me and you do Dude, I'm going to so fucking hard for a judge because I'm going to put both of them up because they just strong arm me again and I'm not going to play like that. Please keep Ryan. I'm not going to vote against you. I don't want to do anything going on. I just truly cannot wrap my head around you for Okay. You're not. Please, please. I voted for James. What? For James. I'm so <laughs> This is so shitty. This is so shitty. This, I'm, so, I'm about to cry. <laughs> I'm not trying to put your I know, I know. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Uh, I will vote to pick Ryan. Great, thank you. So the next person. Question your HOH. Hello, Laura. Hi. Who do you vote to? I vote to pick Ryan. Thank you. So the next person. Hello, Didi. Hi. Hello, Didi. 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 Hello, Ryan, I'm so sorry, Logan. Love you. Hello, Michael. Hello. Who do you vote to evict? I sadly vote to evict Mac. Thank you. So the next person. Hi. Who do you vote to evict? I vote to evict Mac. Thank you. Hello, Brody. Hello. Who do you vote to evict? This is, this is the the right on in the game that will make or break me up potentially, and I vote to evict Mac. Thank you, Brody. Hello, Jessica. Who do you vote to evict? Oh, I, I vote to evict Mac. Right, thank you. By a vote of four to three. Mac, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. Thank you for playing. Okay, because now I'm scared. I should have thrown it to you and Dickie. Yeah, I should have thrown it to you and Dickie. 
Well, okay, was Dini the one who helped me out? Yeah, we gotta figure out who helped him bring me, huh? No. Us three? Dini didn't because y'all didn't vote to Doug James. So she voted for me to go. Yeah. Who voted for me to stay? Brody. I think it was Jessica. And Brody. Brody. Really? Yeah, I told Brody, I told Jessica last minute, I said, Max, go on. Me, um, you, Dylan, and Dini must have just stick together. But I'm with you for that. Like, I'm with you. Dude, you're my number one. Okay, we're good. Okay. We're good. I just didn't, I didn't want this to happen. I wanted us to stay strong until the final six and then divide off. Thank yeah. God, Dylan. Thank God. I feel bad. Like, Dylan, no Dylan's offense to Dylan. Happy. Dylan's the one person I didn't want to win because he's the only person I didn't tell I was voting that way because I didn't have a time to talk I to him. I told him. I think I told him before, but he's not happy. He's not, and I'm very worried I'm going up, but I'm hoping that the Mike Lynn. Ryan duo is more threatening to him than me. It makes me, Dee Dee, and Laura look like assholes to Ryan. And it essentially painted targets on our backs because we voted for him. <coughs> okay. And everyone see, knows that, that we did. Okay, I see that. And to be fair, um, Laura and Dee both walked outside and they knew, both of them. Okay. And I didn't have a chance to tell you, and that is completely my fault. And if you want to be mad, that's perfectly <coughs> understandable. I'm, not mad. I'm just. I get the upset. I am putting up Michael and, and Ryan. Okay. Now I'm annoyed. Michael is my target. Okay. Yes, I agree. And I hope that if we can move, if once we move forward from this, if you can get H O H, if some of our other close members can get H O H, we can target people like that. We are now we're together, whether we like it or not. No, I. <laughs> I was talking to Christian and they're like, we're not mad at you or Brady, and like, we still want to work together. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, well, so many, like, if y'all are saying that, y'all need to go talk to Brody. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, they talked to me, they did. Okay. Michael, Ryan, Brody, Logan, they're four rank four. Oh, no, absolutely. If, the, if it hasn't been formed already. Absolutely. It's clear lines, it's five versus four right now. Right. It's a nine person, we all made jury, it's five versus four. Right. I think if Michael or uh, Ryan get uh, taken off, uh, Dylan can't take, put Logan up, because they agree. Because they agree. Brody goes up. I'm okay with other people. I'm okay. Who's in power? Dylan. Who's he putting up? Mike Lynn and Ryan. Who are the majority of the people that are going to vote? Me, Brody, Dee Dee, Christian. Who's still in the middle? Is Dee Dee out here? Regards. Before we voted, did Brody approach you and tell you that they were keeping Ryan? No. He, the only conversation I had with Brody about it was where we were all on sitting that, right on there. On that couch? Yes. So when, when people were in line, did he ever come to you and say, Andy, and say, our target is Mac? No. Brody said that you and Laura knew before voting happened mm -hmm. that y'all were told that Ryan was staying. No. And I did not believe that. that I can't believe what y'all are saying. And that I is not believe true. What said. That is not true. Yeah, I believe you. I sat there and told them how I was voting. Jessica was a wild card, but I thought Jessica was voting with us. Had Logan won, he would he wouldn't even be worried about us. So who is your target? I am targeting Michael and Ryan, and if I have an opportunity, I will take a shot at Brady as possible back to one. I will tell you that now. I told Christian the same thing. He lied to me, and we're getting later in the well, game. That's a lie. And he didn't lie to me, but that is a lie. That's a lie so, about us. Yeah. I'll go with that. I will take a shot because we're getting in the I game, like and I won't be able to play next to HOH. I've maintained a, a degree of loyalty in here, and I've been very honest through this game, and so I told my people who I was putting up, and I will stick to it. Michael and Ryan, I'm going to need you to come up to the floor, please. All right, Michael and Ryan, you have been nominated for eviction. Have a seat. Mm -hmm. All right, and Dylan has it. Oh. I feel like we're all flowing separately, <coughs> and like we're a big iceberg, and we're holding on. But there's I told them that I, I and you feel very um, awkward. <coughs> yeah, that's fair. I, I, I understand that. The, the reservation I have is, um, Logan, you haven't talked to me like in two rounds. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and like, if, if we have a final, if we have a final four, 
that's not how a final, I see a Final Four working yeah. out for me. Yeah. And that's not how I want to dialogue with somebody who's supposed to be yeah. in my top four. I want to keep going. That's so funny. This is funny. Y'all both wanted one, we both wanted five. Okay. Um, <laughs> 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 Alright, so Jeremy, what's your top three? Um, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. Like, if you don't want Ryan, I'm fine with Ryan. I'll vote Ryan. I'll, 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 the I'll thing is, how about that? Look, the thing like, is, we, I've, I've, look, we fucked up last round. Y'all have been feeling off. We'll take I want to. Yeah. Yeah. We will yeah. vote him however you want. Okay. Like, I want to re-establish whatever yes. doubt is there right yes. now because yeah. I don't want that to be the, not re-establish the yeah. doubt but eliminate the doubt because yeah. yeah. I told Brody like, like very, right? I feel like I've taken yeah. bullets mm-hmm. for yeah. a few rounds yeah. Yeah. and that's why I feel so strongly to protect because mm-hmm. you I mean I could not shit in your face I had to go with you I couldn't I'm going to take Ryan down and I'm putting Brody up and I need you to vote him out I want you to keep- <laughs> I want you to get back in our good graces because we had that little mix-up during voting last time and I want to make sure that we have it. Even if we don't have it, it's a tie and I will vote him out and it will prove where you stand. But I do need you, your vote. Do you see Brody's game? He's getting in Ryan and Michael in his back corner. He's been in our corner. He's in Logan's corner. And you know what? So if, you get, I'm just if, I'm if, processing if, this. And you know what? If Michael and um, Logan and or Ryan get HOH next, that's fine, they can take me out, but I can at least do something now that will get somebody off of their team. I really want me and Brody to be like, but they're about to put Brody up and backdoor him, and they have the numbers, and I cannot, like, I can't do anything about it. So, like, Brody's definitely gonna get out right now, and I don't, like, I can't do anything about it. If I'm still in the game, I have to, like, I have to align with them, or I'm not gonna have, or they're gonna get me out next. Like, do I, I can't, do I tell Brody that? We're out of time for him to go and be like, I can't just pull this out today. You're about to get out right now. Like, I cannot do that. Brody's going up. Jessica's on our side. We've got four votes. If she chooses us to Okay, thank you. Why are you shaking your hand? I think we vote out Michael or Ryan. I vote, I say we vote out Ryan. Or, keep Ryan. Vote out Michael. I say we take a shot. Not this round. I think it's time for Brody. Mm-hmm. I don't think it is. Why do you say that? I think that we still have them a little bit. We have never had Michael and Ryan, and we've been. I've been trying to get them out for a few rounds now. No, but do you see what's going it's on? It's time. Brody it's, is playing. We have a chance to get him out with blood on my hands and my hands only. Why not do it? If they go into power, Brody's going to go. Over there. Correct. Okay. So if that's just another the number picture, for them. If he's out of the picture, it just draws the line in the sand completely. It also eliminates him from playing in the HOH competition. Who knows what he would do on an HOH? Okay, but do you see, you're saying we've never been aligned with Mike and Ryan. That's a fact. Well, we have been aligned with Brody, but now suddenly we have to worry about Brody playing both sides. To me, that's more of a reason for him to go right yeah. now. He's, he's trying to get in everyone's corners so he's safe. No matter who's in power, it's it's not right. And we have the numbers to do it. I want to do, do what it. you want to do. I also feel like, well, and it's not Kristen's HOH anymore, but I still feel like your HOH was screwed. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that whose fault was that? Yeah. Whose fault was that? Not ours. I, I'm letting y'all know, like, there was also, like, a little emotional thing because, like, where's my best friend? Like, I understand you live with him. I, I agree. I agree. Totally. I, 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 it just feels shitty for me because he was with us. Yeah, yeah. I agree, but then when he spreads lies, that doesn't rub me that's right. True. Okay, that's true. That's what true. bothers so me, and that's what is that's stemming true. this Can conversation. I just need right you. I just need I'm, you. I'm in a four. Yeah. I, this is a four. Yeah, I need you to uh, remind me of the lies. Hey, Mike, when you know you're going home, what? Yeah. It looks like you're going home. It looks like you're going. Just home. a heads up. I'm not trying. I told you I'd tell you straight up. That's messed up. Oh, she told me that's how she wanted it. <laughs> Just a heads up. I would like to use the power veto on Michael. Alright, Michael, you have been saved. It's <laughs> like, no, I'm just kidding. There you go. What? Michael, you take a seat on the sofa. Um, from a strategic standpoint, I feel like I have to do this right now. Brody? Yeah. Alright, Brody has been nominated, which means. Ryan and Brody are this round's 
Alright, no one does it. So let's talk. Because so all of you are lying assholes. Let's see. <clears throat> Y'all want to lie to my face? Let's talk. Lie to my face some more. I didn't lie to you. I know you didn't. I'm lie. shocked as I'm shocked. As hell. <laughs> I kind of saw it coming, I'm not going to lie. I'm okay if you lie to me. I just need an explanation. And I don't told you. Are we in space? <laughs> this is another universe. <laughs> 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 I feel like a, a sheep. As like you're a fool? Uh, no, yeah, I feel like I'm a <laughs> Yeah, I feel like I have no I have clue no what's idea. going on, and everyone else is running the game, and I'm just being a pawn at this point, which I'm not used to, so I'm about to ruffle up some feathers. <laughs> we don't know what they're doing, and we're not involved in any of it. And look at us, we're safe. It's, just, so it's an insult. You realize that's an insult, right? Because yeah, they're not sending us home? Yeah. Bullshit. Um, Dylan forced our hand. I mean, he's going, he's going, but I just feel so I, I feel like there's nothing we can do. I know. I mean, it had to be. If, if Brody touches the block, he has to. I've taken so many shots. Like I've let people decide, and I've I've been selfless. I've let Absolutely. Dylan decide. I've let Miss Dee Dee decide. I've let Brody decide, and I I'm done with it. I'm done. Absolutely. I'm giving my input, and I I feel like. It's being ignored at this point. I feel shitty. Like there is no more six sixes. I know. I know. I feel shitty. But listen, this is what we have. We have a four. We don't have a six, but we have a four. That's a pretty good majority when you get this far into the game. If there is a way to save me, I don't expect you to do it because you're making the move. But to be fair, you're not my target. You're not top three on my list if I do win come back and stay in win. Um, because I respect the move. And you know what? You gotta do you. And honestly, my respect for you has just grown. So, in fact, I appreciate your game even more and I even wanna work with you more. Because I... now at this point, I can see a path where before I didn't, because I thought you were just gonna float in boat, kind of, honestly. We walk in there and they tell us that they're blind sliding Brody. Are you fucking kidding me? And let me tell you, if who, who wanted other than who wanted to, who wanted to do everybody that? Everybody on the other side. Which is Jessica, D Dylan, and Laura. Are you fucking kidding me? I thought you had Laura. No, I thought fuck too. So when we go in there, and let me tell you, Brody should not be mad at at Christian at all. Christian no. campaigned and did everything he could to get him not to nominate him. Are you kidding me? We absolutely Christian. Absolutely did everything he could to get him not to do this. Absolutely. Chris Is it a split not. vote? Is it 3-3? Three, three? Could it be 3-3? Three, three? Mm-mm. Who, how, does he have votes to stay? Who? Brody? I don't think so. Not even us? Like, we can't, like... We have to, we have to vote to keep him. Oh, well, can we do We that? have to vote to keep Brody. Oh. I want to keep you, but I, I want you to know that this was not me. I know it wasn't you. He we told me it wasn't How many people are voting? Do we have the we votes need, to keep you? We need four, I think. There's six people voting, right? Six people voting? There's six people voting, because Dylan's not going to break the tie for me. You have Michael? I don't have Michael. She's going to keep Ryan over me. You have... It's you two. Logan? I think I have Jess. You think you have Jess? I think I have Jess. You two. I need Dee Dee. I think I keep you, Laura. No, you cannot. She was one of the proponents of this. What, Brody? It's nothing personal against Brody. I've no, Brody hasn't been, hasn't been lying to me. This whole game, that's the thing. Now that we did this, now that we already, I mean, he's already there, I don't feel like we can backtrack Brody's now. Brody's gonna be coming for all of them. No, you. <laughs> exactly. We cannot backtrack now. We did it. We have to go through it. We have to now, if we can figure something out right here, this is my ideal. This is, this is the group I've trusted the most all day. Yeah. It, it has been. And just uh, at the very beginning of the day, I wasn't as close with you, but I've grown closer to you as the day's going on. Mm -hmm. And this has been the four that I have fought everything for. Tooth and nail. I trusted you all day. Yes. 
I trust you. I love y'all. Because listen, Jess, we are putting your tru our trust in you. Because okay. if you flip on us, it's I a have, tie vote. I just, Dylan knows. And, and I vouch. Don't. I vouch for you all day. Oh, oh I know. Uh, I know. You know. I know what's happening. Oh yeah. One, two, three. Coup. Cool. One, two, three. Coup. 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 We're cool. We're cool. Coup on three, all right. One, two, three. Coup. Think about to event. This vote is about to be out of this world. I've been wanting to say that. Okay. I vote to even. Thank you. Who do you vote to evict? Um, I vote to evict Ryan. Hello, Michael. Hi. Who do you vote to evict? I sadly vote to evict Brody. Who do you vote to evict? I vote to evict Brody. Thank you. Hello, Logan. Hi. Who do you vote to evict? I vote to evict Ryan. Right, thank you. Hello, Jessica. I'm about to cry. <laughs> I'm about to evict Ryan. Right, thank you. Ryan, you have to do it. Oh, thank you for playing. Thank you guys. That was fun. This competition will determine a clear order that you place. And your placement will determine which one of these eight cards you get. Um, you random, <clears throat> starting with last place, last place will randomly pick a card. It could be anything from nominate a player to immunity to a gift card from Sonic. Um, <laughs> so, um, last place will pick a card. Seventh place can choose to pick a new card or steal eighth place's card. Sixth place can steal from seventh or eighth place or pick a new card. And the process continues until everyone gets a card. And first place gets final choice. First place and HOH. Huh? There is no HOH. Two people will be able to nominate, two people will get immunity, and then there are some other goodies that will be discovered later. All right, so Laura and Dylan, you will choose the two nominees for the round. You can nominate each other. You just can't nominate the two people with immunity. We who can are nominate each other. Yes, you can. Okay. Uh, you I can. was just clarifying. The I only people who are the only people who are immune are Brody, Brody and, Christian. and Christian. Okay. Uh, here are your new hands until the next eviction ceremony. Amazing. Thank Slip you. Them on. It'll be hands and the white sleeves in this these parts. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> For me, it was threatening to just okay. see you. It, it doesn't matter who's in power, you're safe with them. Yeah. So that was my reasoning behind if you're out of the equation, then it's just lines drawn in the sand. I have Christian, I have mm -hmm. Jessica. Like, I if you got out of the equation, that would have made the game a lot simpler for you. If I win power, I'm coming for you. I don't have a choice at this point, I'm cornered. Absolutely. I, I mean, can't, I'm not, I'm not going to turn up against the people who just saved my ass. For and I respect, and for I respect you doing that. It just felt extremely shitty. And that's what I was trying to say. But if you two would have said, hey, but we did. Dylan, too. They but did. If, but, we did. but you guys agreed to it. And I, I, felt, know, I felt like I had, did to, say that I had to did convince y'all. Because y'all were. votes were not going. Look, y'all were know. getting so emotional about it. And I felt like that was the main thing keeping y'all, holding y'all back. And I thought that y'all understood that it was the best game move. And I think you still both know it would have been the best game move. It is not an emotional decision because of my feelings for Brody. It was an emotional decision because I felt like I had given my word earlier in the game and I felt like I was going Absolutely. back on it. For me, it was that too. Absolutely. You know, because I love everyone in this game. But it's not about that. It's about you, what I had said. Absolutely. But had you said, Dylan, if you put Brody up, we're not going to vote him out, that would have given us no options. The nominations would have stayed the same. I have no power over you two. I felt like I had to support y'all on a game level because I felt like y'all were getting emotional. And I'm not an emotional person. And I was trying to push y'all to make the what I felt was the right game move for all of us. Because I really wanted to work with you and I really want to work with you. I let Matt go on my HOH. I let James go when I feel like Ryan should have fucking gone. And if it would have happened that way, none of this would have happened. I've taken stabs for every single person that I'm close to, and I and I finally took a stand, and I told Dylan I was honest with him, and I did something for my game that I felt was needed at that point. I've been stepped on this whole game, and I needed to stand up and say, hey, this is for my game. I think Brody is better for me right now. Have you talked to you on this? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Have you been stepped on by me personally in this game? No. Okay, then you could have clued me in and said, 
were not voting Brody out and I would have gone with y'all and not had me be his number one target right now. He just looked at me and said, hey, no hard feelings, but just know you're you're at the top of my hit list. But We're cool, what? but you're at the top of my but hit list. at the list. end of this round? There's nothing I can do. At the end of this round, you can win HOH is what you can do, Lauren. Yeah. And that's not out of the question because did I think I would win HOH and Tito? Fuck no. You guys could have told me right there on the couch. Just whisper to me. I wouldn't have done it. I get that you feel like you've been stepped on, but the thing is, I was, we were the ones that voted for your target that you wanted out. That round. He voted in a way that was for best for his game. He didn't vote against me. He told me straight up, and he, he's, he right. will not. I've been the most loyal to y'all. I've never lied to y'all. I've always stuck with y'all, never wavered from that. And I feel like Brody has just because of playing all the angles of the house and you saved his game even though he hasn't been loyal 100% of the time like I have. But he didn't lie you. to me. You see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm not saying he lied to you, but I'm just saying Brody's not doing what's best for the Alliance to try to get further in the game. Brody was just doing what was best for Brody. I wanted to play the game with an Alliance. Um, you told me everything that happened, everything that went through your head, and I didn't have to wait. And you didn't complain to me whenever I did it to y'all. Like, you did it, but you were HOH, and that was very reasonable. Laura came and complained to me in the laundry room and complained how I didn't tell her this plan. That was my mistake, and, and that's I okay. want to man up and tell you that first. And that's the, you know, and here's totally where, accept. Here's where I stand. Okay. I want to earn your trust back. Okay. You're safe this week, Christian is safe this week. Yes. Laura and myself nominate. Mm-hmm. If you do it, she's out. I understand that. Because we have fit right after nominations, there's no need to. Mm -hmm. I wanna I wanna play this game. You have to Obviously. progress yourself. I I did what I thought was right for me and it wasn't right for me and I'm glad that they kept you because I feel like we have something that we can go. I do no, I, I do trust you. If I can get her to put up my team, I will put her up. Okay. This is not like this room. Because if this is true, I don't know if it is. If it's me. No. If Laura puts you up, he's putting Laura up. Stop it. Stop. Shut the Shut fuck up. This does not leave this room. I didn't tell you. Let him tell you. Yeah, you can put each other up. That's why I want to take it at the end. Look, it goes. So, Are so you yes, that's what he told me. He said, unless Laura, he said, the veto. There's no veto. There is no veto. Shh. There's no veto. Shh. So, so we go straight to so, the veto. So hey, hey. Shh. He has to make sure he's voting. He's the second to nominate. He should be because I think he was he last long in the challenge. So I think he should be the second to nominate. <laughs> and she I'm does so have to. Good she good has to nominate. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Wow. That is what he said. She hates me. Now I asked her to her last round. She said I'm good. Here's the catch. <laughs> None of you she try to pitch this to him. <laughs> yeah. Y'all don't know this. <laughs> Where did he? I want to give you a little this? hope. Where did he get he just? Do you do you Jesus. Um, well, he really, after that whole conversation outside, I think he's like, he needs I can't, I have to detach from Laura. Okay. Well, I'm going up for a third time, y'all. Okay, but you're, you're gonna be. Maybe. I don't know how I've lasted this long. I just <laughs> want the camera to know I'm how did we, oh. How did we <laughs> make it to Jerry? <laughs> what? I feel so betrayed in this game. I feel so betrayed by Dee Dee and Christian. I can't even stand it. Fucking Brody is the one that's gonna win this game because he has everyone in his back fucking pocket. Me and Dylan are the smartest motherfuckers in here because if we had gotten him out, it would have been smooth sailing for our side of the house. We could have easily made it to final four. This game messes with your head so hard, it's crazy. It's fucking crazy. There is literally nothing at stake in this game. You get so invested in it and you feel like you have relationships with people and you feel like you're counting on something and when you get stabbed in the back, it just, it's so fucking crazy. Um, we've never had any kind of relationship. We rarely have ever talked game. Um, Okay, so. <laughs> you have to nominate for a Christian. Please have a seat. <laughs> <laughs> Get. 
can't think of why. Yeah, what? And Dylan, you must name the other one. Um, I am going to do what I feel is best. Um, I'm incredibly sorry to this person. Um, Laura, I'm going to nominate you. Alright, Laura, you have been nominated for eviction. Which means, Michael and Laura, you are this round's final nominees. At the end of this ceremony, one of you will be evicted from the Big Brother game. By a vote of seven to zero, Laura, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. Thank you for coming. Mm. This looks like her. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Yeah. 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 Here's how this challenge is going to work. First, this is the last round to use any star powers. Just know that. Each camera person will have you with eight chips. You have to assign those eight chips to the other house guests, okay? Based on who you don't want to see, be HOH. The player with the don't yes. The player with the fewest coins assigned to them will be the HOH. First up, Dylan had 14. Yikes! Franklin <laughs> also had 14. <coughs> Next up is Jessica with eight. Or oh, actually, yes, Jessica, you had eight. Dee was given ten chips. Next up was Logan with four chips. And it is between Brody and Christian for head of household. Christian had three. Brody had zero. Okay. You Brody, are right. you are zero. Right. But it doesn't really matter because I'm not gonna put any of the four people who saved me up. I put four to Dylan, four to Michael, and I was like, I don't know. I did five and three. Five to Dylan, three to Michael. I have a final two with Logan, but you see who I got this with, okay? I think me and you. Like, I, I'm telling you right now, mm -hmm. I will bring you to the final two. I will bring you. I will bring you. Mm -hmm. um, I will feel shitty about, about Logan. And Brody, but, yeah. yeah. I think it's probably going to be me and Dylan as my I guess. So, so. I don't think. Um, that's what I'm prepared <clears> for. <throat> and then I would think that Dylan would go. I would hope Dylan would go, but then it's where it gets hairy, because then I think you're in the clear better with them, and so I think it would be, like, I think it's going to be me and Dylan this time, and if I survive, I think it would be, like, me and Jessica next time. I'm basically just, it depends like, on surfing vetoes for as long really know, as I like. can, surfing nominations for as long as possible. You're going up. Okay. Um, it's not that I don't trust you, it's that I cannot put those four people who voted to save me up right now. Yeah. Um, that, that's all it is. What's the end result? Am I a party? Essentially, I don't have a preference between you and Mike Lynn. Um, I think I've made my alliances clear, and this is nothing personal to these two people, <clears throat> but there are four people who voted to save me when I was on the block, and those four people I have to keep my alliance and allegiance with. So, Mike Lynn and Dylan, if you would take a seat, please. Alright, Mike Lynn and Dylan, you have been nominated for eviction. So I've already random down our, a list of your names. <laughs> Christian has it. I don't know if you've ever said the words. Final two. No. Right here. Have you made another one? Be honest with me. I made one with Laura. <laughs> with James in the game. Okay. And I made one with, um, uh... You've been the person that I've trusted no one else. Oh, you've been the one I've trusted the most this whole game. Didn't we already make a final two? We did. We said to the end, but I want to make sure it's very painfully obvious. I would like Logan to be the first one in five. I would as well, actually. I want to get the final three with me, Jessica. I like that. That's my ideal. I would like to use the veto. Okay. Who do I put up? You put up a five, huh? I have to throw a five. And I don't want to start that chaos before we're there. I, I just we want can. Dylan to not go home. Okay. I need and to go talk to everybody, see where yeah. their head's at, and if they no. want Dylan out, I, like... That makes sense. I want Dylan to not go home. Okay. And I think they're both equally good at challenges. I'm good with Dylan going home next round. Okay. 
I just don't want Michael. What's your reason? Because Logan's with Michael. Okay. Does that make sense? Because mm -hmm. I, I just want Michael to go home. But that means I have to put up a five. Yeah. And so we're trying to figure out, do we have to do that? To not Dude, cause yeah. the chaos before But it has like, to if y'all are voting out Michaelin, regardless, I'm not doing it. I've been trying to get Michaelin out forever. I don't care. I can't vote, first off. And if it's a. I think it can be a tie. This Is round. it? It would be a tie. And then you decide. I'm fine with whatever the majority says. And if it's split, then I'll just make a gut decision on the spot. I was just telling them uh, I would like Michaelin to go. Okay. Yeah. So I'm not going to use it. Okay. It, would, it would mean putting up a member of the five. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with whatever. Oh, the, the coup. The coup. Sorry. I mean, Dylan just like he obviously just came to me and was like, "Please," and I was like, "Let me talk to other people because I don't." Yeah. I'm not affected. I understand why I was put on the block. Mm -hmm. I understand why the video is not being used to cause unnecessary drama. But if you're willing to tell me and shake on me that after this round, if I remain, mm -hmm. if you're if, not, if you're not loyal to them anymore, if no, if strategically it makes sense. I have no problem working with you okay. after this one. Christian has the power of veto. It could potentially save one of you from eviction. Christian, what are you going to do? I am not going to do it. Right, Christian does not use the power of veto. So Dylan and Mike Lynn, you are this round's final nominees. At the upcoming eviction ceremony, one of you will be walking out those doors. By a vote of four to zero, Mike Lynn, you have been evicted from the big of the house. My tenure with the competitions is over for this season. Um, I have final twos with everybody except for Logan in this game, and um, it's time for my game to show itself, uh, rear its head uh, with not competition wins, but strategy and social game. Logan is the new HRH. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Logan, you are the new yeah. I won this part. Oh my god. Oh my god. You feel better? It's not you feel better? You should. I feel better. Yeah. Um, I assume we have our five. Dylan is a nominee. He just said he's expecting. Okay, well, that's easy. And I was very straightforward with him last time, yeah. so I'll be straightforward with him this time. Yeah. I think we might have one Dylan here anyway. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. It just depends on the beat, too, and I think we're all competing. Mm -hmm. I think everyone No matter what. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. It's just. Dylan and Dylan goes in there. Mm -hmm. I would assume Jessica. Because mm. she was last to get on board. Okay. That's true. I don't want to put you up, but I think I have to. Mm. It's me being spitting honestly at you. I obviously can't vote because I don't even think this is a tie this time. Mm -hmm. right? It's just like mm -hmm. whatever happens, happens. Mm. If a veto, because we're obviously all going to play a veto this time, if you obtain power, can you use it on me, or? I mean, yeah. I feel like we're at a point where we have to, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um, he said he felt like Jessica was the last The last one, which I think is fair. I'm voting out the Dylan. Yeah. Yeah, I, you have to vote out the yeah. non-five. Yeah. If not, you're, if, no, no, if not, when you get to, if you get to the end, you lost. You lost. And you're asking. Because you're going to no, break everything. The, the whole entire thing with if, like if you, me crying, Ms. Didi crying. Like, if, I'm not, if we risk our games so much to get to this point <laughs> and do that and do all of this just to break it now, it would make no sense. It, 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 would, it would label you, yeah. yeah. And it just is not. No. As someone who has poor drain management <laughs> issues in the past, no, that would be even I know not to do that. <laughs> so, no. And unfortunately, I have to nominate Dylan. Jessica. Dylan and Jessica, you have been nominated for eviction. You don't have a seat. Logan, do you have anything to say for yourself? We, I have like really no choices left. We all get to play in the veto, so may the best man or woman win. Amen. Well. Hands in the air. Alright, congratulations. I still trust you. Congratulations. <laughs> I mean, I mean, and I don't, I, I mean, Brody said, you know, once we get five, we all play. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And I think he's, I think he would respect that. Mm -hmm. If anybody would respect it, it would be him. Yeah. I think we have all three been strong competitors. I think we've proven that we need to be here. Mm-hmm. And I would really like to see it. Okay.
I, I'm not I saying that. No, no, not saying that anyone else has not proven that they need no, to be but here. But I think we made the moves that back it up. Never mind. I'm sorry. I come down. Yeah. I do want to stand line. Yo, I need to talk to Logan. Way too many final twos and final threes, but you know, at this point, I have to go with what I've done. I can't go back on my word with these people. People were to get broken at this point. I didn't expect to make it this far. I'm perfectly okay with any fucking combination. I don't think I win in any, but I think I have a good argument and could see myself convincing people to vote me if necessary. There's been one person in the floor who said your name is fourth this whole time. Christian. He's wanted you fourth. I think I've told you this before. Did I not? I did tell you this on the couch when we were sitting down earlier. Remember I told you that? Yeah. It's been that way the whole day. If he had his way, you'd be going next round. But if I put you up, that we are co more cool than Christian is, then with what you're telling mm -hmm. me, I don't want to give him a reason to put me up. I mean, sure, I could be, I could be shooting myself in the foot but, with giving you a reason to put me up. But the, that's the, that's what I'm saying is like, why give me a reason to question this? I think it's because I'm, I'm closer with Dee Dee, mm -hmm. which like I knew that. That's obvious. We all knew this. Yeah. And she thinks that Christian has a less chance of putting me on the block next week. I am going to remove myself from the block. All right, do you want to remove yourself from the block? Uh-oh, Logan, there's a vacancy on the nomination chair. Uh, you must name a replacement. Who's it going to be? I sadly have to nominate you, Brody. All right, Brody has been nominated for conviction. Which means, Jessica and Brody, you are this round's final nominees. At the end of this ceremony, one of the two of you will be evicted from the Big Brother house. Hello, Dini. Who do you vote to evict? Thank you. Send in the next person. Hello, Dylan. Who do you vote to evict? I am going to vote to evict Jessica. Thank you. Hello, Christian. Hi. Who do you vote to evict? Um, Birdie Bear and Comps. Top five, gotta win Comps. Um, Jessica, I'm sorry. I vote to evict you. By a vote of three to zero, Jessica, you have been evicted from the Birdie Bear Comps. Thank you for playing. I got eleven out of twelve. I got eleven out of twelve. Yeah. You don't even put it down. You're absolutely fine. This was up to me last time. It was up to you this time. I really wanna. I don't wanna hit Christian. I don't. I don't either. Okay. I don't either. I think that's a wonderful final three. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. So we. I kind of created a final three with myself, Christian, and Brody. So, the Zig Joy does not necessarily play into that all that well, but we'll see where her head is. I'm fairly certain we're the two that are going to go up. Um, Christian's been up Didi's asshole all day, and Logan has recently gotten like a wart on her ass. It's not recent. Well, it's more, it's gotten more recent. Obviously, Dylan mm -hmm. is the one out. Yeah. Um, but mm -hmm. I have worked closer with Christian. Christian. Yeah, I understand that. I knew, I kind of knew that was coming. You know, not because I'm tart. I'm mm -hmm. not at all. No, no it's okay. Um, you know, no. I um, you know, yeah. No, that's kind of what I expected. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure. Dee, Dee you are the head of household position. You must nominate two players for eviction. Let them have it. I don't have anything big to say. I'm very sad about this, but Brody. Brody and Dylan, you have a young man for eviction. Good job. All right. That was not an easy position. <laughs> and Brody wins the power of veto. Okay, I'm with Dylan to go home. That's easy. Yeah, me too. But what do I do between you and Kristen? 
That's completely up to you. No hard feelings. It doesn't matter. Okay, but okay, let's have what happens. Who vote? I don't vote. The two that vote. It would be Christian. If they split the vote, it's easy. Because it was me on the block. Yeah, if they split the then, vote, it's easy because then I go down now. Yeah. Dee Dee is most likely going to put me up, which I'm fine with because I trust her and I'm. I trust Christian no matter how much Brody says that I probably shouldn't. I, you're putting up Logan? Yeah. And I'm gonna vote out Logan. I think so. Cause, um, he, uh, has never been as close to me as Dylan has. Okay. I'm still pretty much. Same. Yeah. So I'm really torn as to what to do going forward. To be fair, I think I have to win out to make it to the end. I think it's very possible. It's just two out of four challenges from here. 50%, I feel like I can do it, but I have to push myself. It's going to be difficult. Um, I don't like relying on that to get to the end. Okay, I'm going to throw myself. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> he said, can, can we wait? <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys ready for the walk? Um, so there's a vacancy on the nomination chairs. Didi, you must nominate Logan or Christian for eviction. Um, I am, I tell myself before this, whatever happened with the veto would decide, so I'm going to All right, Logan, you have been nominated for eviction. Hello, Christian. Hello. Who do you vote to evict? Logan, this is your time. I'm sorry, my dear. I vote to evict Logan. Hello, Brody. Hello. Who do you vote to evict? This isn't a vote against you, but it's a vote against Dee Dee. I'm sorry, but Logan, I have to evict you. Alright. Logan, you have been evicted from the room. Oh! Come on, Claire. Come on, Claire. She lost. Wow. Okay, uh, Brody. Brody had it first. Go, Brody. You win the final four. This is the final four nomination ceremony. We are going straight into it because the veto is really yeah. the matter of importance here. So, Brody, can you name your nominees. Um, Dylan, you've been up enough, so Miss Didi and Christian off. Praise. All right, Didi and Christian, you have been nominated for eviction. Have a seat. Brody gets his second, and Brody wins the final power of veto. Fuck. If I stay up, I hope you do. Obviously, yeah. I don't know if he's It doesn't have to be safe. But I don't think he'll change anything, and I think he'll trust me to vote the way he wants me to vote. Okay, yeah. I think Which is the way that we want to vote. Who is your ideal final two? And honestly, I told Christian earlier that I felt if me and him were the final two, he would win hands down. Okay. So honestly, if, I mean, Dylan's playing a hell of a game. That's, Dylan yeah, is playing, scaring me. Dylan is playing an amazing game, mm -hmm. and I mean... He, uh, the thing is, I think any four of us could honestly, win, given the right circumstances on the jury. I do. If you are off the block, who are you voting out? Uh, Dylan. Okay. Unless you want me to vote. Uh, I just want, I want your honest answer, and that's what... Actually, I... Well, I'm uh, here, and I'll have a second question for you. If you don't want to use it. No, here's your, here's your second, here's my second question for you. Who's your ideal final two? For mm -hmm. you. You. Okay. And you are mine, still. I I, I I still think it's going to be a close vote. And I think there's a good chance either of us win. Straight up. First. If I don't take you off, who are you voting at? Or you're, you're not, uh, but if... My answer to that question would be whoever you wanted me to vote out. Okay. Who would you want to vote out if I gave no opinion? I would want to keep the three that we discussed. Me, you, and Christian. Okay. Based on all of your answers, and I think what's best for my game going forward and what gives me the best path to potentially the final two, I've chosen not to use the power of veto. Alright, Brody has chosen not to use the power of veto, which means Christian and Dee Dee are the final nominees. I love you both. I mean, we, I agree with what you said, Dee. We have all played a phenomenal game. I think all four of us deserve to be where we are now. Um, we have to pick, you know, who goes on and who doesn't. And I, unfortunately, have to make that decision. Um, I, Miss Dee, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to send you home. That's okay. All right, 
But do you have to have some I'm gonna have to send you home in your home. <laughs> no, it's all good. I'm happy. Okay, so who was HOH when Laura Zimmerman who was HOH when Laura's vote was canceled? James? Yeah. D. Correct. Four. That's four. All right, that's four. Congratulations, Brody. You are the final HOH of Luke's Good Brother 18. Ooh, I did it. I had a thought somewhat early in this game of someone I wanted to sit next to at the final two. And as much as I want to sit next to Dylan just with the chaos of us being at each other's throats and sitting next to each other at the end, I have to go to young Christian. Yeah. Alright, Dylan, you have been evicted from the Big Mother House. Alright, um, coming into today, um, I know about my perception from people I've played with, from production, everybody knows that I am probably one of the craziest, stupidest, most idiotic players to ever play this, any Luke's brother, big brother or survivor game. Um, I want to change that. And knowing that it's an all-star cast, um, y'all fit the bill, and it was a hard game. I had to change, and I did. I started round one, um, I learned from my mistakes in all of past games, and I let people move first, and then I took advantage. So, just for example, round one, I let Josh and James just start, you know, something. They started throwing out stuff. I piggybacked off of that, took advantage of what they were putting forward. That's why I did most of this game. I did a lot of psych psychological warfare as well. I built to people's emotions. And I'm sorry if I, um, uh, if y'all think that's, um, you know, bad game, but I think that's, I need to take every chance that I could get. I took every nuance um, that I could get. Um, and I tried to appeal to people to make them think about me in a certain way to where they keep me. So I made sure Brody thought I was weaker at some points. I made sure people thought I was more empathetic, driving on emotions rather than game. So when I cried, um, that was game. Uh, when, I, when I was about to blow up Brody, that was game. I was pulling to Miss Didi. I wanted Miss Didi to be number one with me, and I, I'm pretty sure Miss Didi was number one with me because of the emotional warfare that I did play, and I'm sorry I, I played like that, but um, I felt like I, I wanted to win this game so bad, and I wanted to play it hard, and I wanted to put forth that. But not only that, I won competitions, I won a lot of vetoes, I won two HOHs, I won four vetoes. Um, um, I can get a count for you. And to top that off, in the top seven, um, I knew every single person who went home, and I threw every competition in the top seven because I knew that I was being brought to the final two no matter what. Um, so, um, if you didn't see, uh, I let Brody win the final uh, three, and um, I know that I played a holistic game rather than based off of one-dimensional kind of thing, competition, strategy, social, I think I played it all, so that's it. Thank you, Christian. Uh, I'll give a quick comp count. Um, Christian, two, head of, head, two heads of household, and one, two, three, four uh, powers of veto. For Brody, we have one, two, three heads of household, and one, two, three powers of veto. Okay. All right, cool. Brody, you're up. Um, first off, congrats on making the jury. Um, I totally didn't expect to be here, uh, especially given some of the events that went down today, and I'm very happy to say that I've gotten here based on having to kind of think on the fly and work with what was given to me and not necessarily what I came in hoping to do. My entire plan coming into today was to float for the first five rounds and then and just build relationships. Build relationships with people and I think I did a great job of that to where I was able to talk to you just about anybody in this house and feel safe. I think that was one of the reasons that Dylan said he came after me when he did because he felt that I was safe and Laura said the same thing. He like, felt that I had people on all sides and that was my entire intention leading up to that point. However, that was the point in which I wanted to kind of turn it into my game and do what I wanted to do and kind of take out the people who were threats to me. But given the situation in which I got thrown on the block and back door, I didn't really get to follow the plan in which I had planned for the day. So it took a lot of improvisation and thinking on my feet and being able to use those connections which I had already established to my advantage going forward. Um, first by saving myself from that back door and then by creating like this atmosphere 
to where everyone still felt safe with me despite putting me on the block and voting for me. And then there were, in our alliance with Christian, I knew I was the fourth. Um, I knew that since early on in the day. <coughs> At least I felt that way even if not. And I knew that getting to the end would be very difficult, especially the way things turned out and me having to fight from behind because I wasn't able to take people out earlier. And the fact that I was able to get here and kind of pick apart the people that I knew would not take me and would not trust me to get here, um, I think says a lot about my game and how I was able to really play to my strengths, which today was my social game. To my social game was really everything that my game had today. If I didn't have a social game, nothing else I do, nothing, no other move, no other strategy could have come into play today. And so um, I think Christian played a phenomenal game. I don't want to take away from him. Um, I think we're both very deserving, and it comes down to what you appreciate more. Uh, I'm ready for any questions you have, and I want to hear what you have to say. What about you both, even though I know we're happy? Yep, yeah, knew that was coming. Here we go. I will start uh, with the most recent juror and go down to Ryan. Okay. First question. Uh, what would you voted for Christian to win? <laughs> Dee Dee voted for Christian to win. Logan voted for Christian to win. Jessica voted for Brody to win. Mike Lynn voted for Brody to win. Laura voted for Brody to win. That's three votes for Brody, three votes Christian, one vote left. Ryan voted for the winner of Big Brother 18, Brody. Good game, everybody.